ask. We're going to uh, take some time to hear from other worship leaders, other scholars, um, and on this day we are going to hear from Dr. Raj Nadella. He is uh, the Samuel A. Cutledge Associ Associate Professor of New Testament at Columbia Theological Seminary in Decatur, Georgia. And Dr. Nadella is going to take some time and um, talk to us about this concept of where are you from as it relates then to the text from John. I invite us to hear these words on this day. And hopefully it all works. Hi, everybody. My name is Raj Nadella, and I teach New Testament at Columbia Theological Seminary. Where are you from? Great question. Let me begin on a personal note by saying that I came to the U.S. from India more than 20 years ago. You won't be surprised to hear that during these 20 plus years, I've been asked the question, where are you from? Numerous times in, in a variety of settings, coffee shops, shopping malls, seminaries, and so on. Interestingly, though, I used to be asked this question back in India as well. After high school, I moved to a different state to pursue my education. In India, moving to a different state meant living among people who spoke a different language, ate slightly different food, and even looked a bit different. And so at times when I was out and about, people would ask me this question, where are you from? Without a doubt, I've been asked this question way more times in the last 20 years than before that. I've always had this urge to respond to such questions by asking them a question. Where are you coming from? I've always been curious about why someone might be curious about me. Are they asking me to questions in order to connect with me on a deeper level? Or are they trying to treat me as an outsider? What do they hope to do with the knowledge that they acquire about me? Will they use it as the foundation to build common mutual spaces? Or will they use it to exclude me, put me in a box? Why you ask is important. How you ask is equally important. The English word curiosity has the connotation of nosiness, intrusiveness, but the Latin root Curiosis means diligence, careful. And the related Latin word cura means care. Curiosity then is about asking questions with care and diligence. When I ask someone questions about them with care and respect for the person and for the relationship, I will end up learning a great deal about them. More importantly, I will also unlearn some of the assumptions I might have had about them. Remember the story of Jesus, Philip, and Nathaniel? Philip had met Jesus and was absolutely excited about introducing him to Nathaniel. Nathaniel's first response was, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip says, come and see. And Nathaniel did. And Nathaniel, when he spent time with Jesus, he was absolutely blown away by what he had learned about Jesus and Nazareth. So the point of the story is more that Nathaniel was blown away by what he had unlearned about Jesus and Nazareth. Curiosity is about being willing to learn and unlearn and engaging the other with respect and care for the relationship. Who gets to ask the question is important as well. If I get to ask you where you are from and you don't get to ask me the same question, it somehow suggests that I am the host and you are the outsider. Curiosity needs to be a two-way street. Just as we want to enter the spaces of the other, we should be willing to invite them into our spaces as well. Because on this street, on this two-way street called curiosity, we're both guests and hosts simultaneously. 
were both subjects and objects of healthy curiosity. Where are you from? I was at a conference at the beginning of last year before COVID and this fellow scholar came up to me um, and, and asked me with all this uh, politeness and respect and he asked me, where are you from? And I said, I am from many places. You should have seen the puzzled look on his, on his face. Obviously, I've lived in different parts of the world, but that's not what I was talking about. I am using the term place metaphorically. Each of the places that I have lived in has experiences and stories associated with them. And it is these stories and experiences that make me who I am. And I am a sum of all these stories and experiences, and I cannot be reduced to any one of them. So if you really want to know where I am from, you should know, you should get to hear all these stories and experiences associated with these places. I hope that you will continue to ask me where I am from. I hope that you will take the time to learn about all the places that I am from. I also hope that you will be willing to unlearn any assumptions about me if needed. More importantly, I hope that you will tell me about all the places that you have been to. Thank you so much. How many times have we asked that question? A lot. And we just assume that everybody knows what we mean. And yet when I heard him share those words, I'm like, oh yeah, there's a lot more to it. So my friends, as we gather in community, as we think about how we can be uh, curious, but careful, diligence about the other. Let us be mindful of how our questions are, can be heard, how we can be empathetic, and how we can then engage each other in ways that are deeply caring and respectful as we move together into this season that has lots of family stuff coming up, chosen family stuff coming up, and also time in which we celebrate the lives who have come before us and how those interactions may have been messy and beautiful all rolled into one. It's all a part of our story. And I've been meaning to ask, where are you from and how are you? A question to hold on to on this day.